What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite news video and today we have some epic things to go through. But before we get into the video guys, do you want to win some V-Bucks? I am giving away 2800 of the little beauties. To win simply make sure you are subbed to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked at the end of the week and contacted via YouTube direct message. So good luck guys. Okay, so first up, let me get this straight out of the way for those who are interested in playing Fortnite on mobile phones early. You can now sign up to be a tester. To do so, you want to make sure you own an ISO device, an iPad, an iPhone or so on, and simply check out the Fortnite website linked within the video description. Sign up and await a response from Epic. If you are picked, then you are one of the lucky few, so good luck people. So on to the news, and cross-network play between Xbox and PC has been confirmed. Announced a few days back, Xbox and PC players will soon be able to play together. Now this is great news for people who have friends on PC who play the game. Now there is a little confusion about this subject, same as with PlayStation crossover with PC. I'm going to cut it up for those confused. Cross-platform play does indeed mean you can play with PC players. But unless you opt in on your PS4, you won't ever come into play with PC players. It works as follows, if you decide to play with a friend who plays on PC, you will then play against PC players. It won't ever bring that PC player into console servers though. And this will be the same for Xbox too. If you are an Xbox when its cross-platform player comes into play, if you decide to play with mates who play Fortnite Battle Royale on PC, you are opting in to play with them and you will be playing against other PC players. Those PC players you want to play with won't ever come into console servers. And it's the same thing when it comes to mobile devices. Cross-platform play will work, but if you decide to play with console friends, you will play in console servers. If not, you will only be matched against other people playing on mobile phones. This is the way it works. PlayStation players, unless you opt in to play with a PC friend, you won't ever play against PC players. A PC player will never be in a console server, no matter if he's playing with a console friend. That console friend will always go into the PC servers, and it's as simple as that. Now onto the mobile version of this game. Confirmed by Epic, Bluetooth controllers will not work on Fortnite Battle Royale via your phone. They want to try and keep it fair. Something else extremely interesting about this cross-platform play is as follows. It actually allows you to team up with PlayStation players via your Xbox and vice versa. It works by both you and your Xbox, your friend on his PlayStation, both opting in to play with a PC friend. That PC friend is the beacon of light which allows console players to play together. Without him, for the time being, Xbox and PlayStation crossover platform play won't ever be a thing. So to clear this up a little more, both Xbox players and PlayStation players can both opt in to play with PC players and yes it can be done at the same time someone on Xbox can join a PC friend and someone on PlayStation can join that same PC friend and you'll be able to play together. You will be playing against other PC players though so be warned they have a major advantage on mouse and keyboard for sure. This info has been confirmed by many sources, most recently Nick Chester who is a PR working on Fortnite. Something good to see though when it comes to cross-platform play is the fact both Microsoft and Epic do want to bring console players from either side directly together. James asked Phil Spencer the following, Hi, I wanted to ask that can Xbox One and PS4 players play together in Fortnite? We really want cross-play system between Xbox and PS4. Phil Spencer replied with, me too. Then Fortnite replied with, me three. All we need now is the backing from Sony, which in my opinion probably won't ever happen, but we will see people we will see. And we are going to move on and launch pads are believed to be getting a drop rate buff according to new sources. Now according to Fortnite Intel, the drop rates for these are as follows. Each floor item has a 2.8 chance of being a trap. From this, there is a 9.1% chance that it will be a launch pad. Each supply drop has a 9.1% chance of containing a launch pad. So drop rates are pretty low and these things add so much fun into the game they really do. Now although I do believe they do need a buff, they don't want to overdo it for sure. Design lead Eric Williamson tweeted at this the other day, higher launch pad drop rates with a pole attached where the only answer is yes and this pretty much confirms a buff to the drop rates to these launch pads will be coming soon for sure. So that's pretty cool too. And guys, that is it for another video. I will bring you another one later, which I am working on currently, so stay tuned for that, people. But other than that, I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like, it really does help me out. 
Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.